Look what came. Fit for a princess. A grill? Oh, oh dear. I'm okay. I just, uh, I feel sad sometimes. I can't help it. I was afraid this would happen. It would have been better if you'd never held the baby. Maybe. Oh, I'm okay, really. I'm fine. Come on, let's look at your beautiful flower. Something. Let's see. The card says, we have to talk. Love, Clay. Well, do make yourself right at home. Thanks. Kate left for the pie shop. She said to tell you the uh, shopping list is by the phone. <clears throat> I'll have a little more if you don't mind. Actually, Monty, I do mind. Tell me, is there any way to really get rid of you? Not till I find out who's the daddy of a Brill's baby. You know, you'd make it easier on both of us if you just break down and tell me. Yeah, well, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. There must be at least one person in this house willing to tell me who she was dating when she got pregnant. Morning. Oh, good morning. Ava Rescott and her son are going to be moving in soon, so I'm going to need a lot of hangers. A lot of hangers. And if you can get your hands on a baby crib, that would help me, too. Well, we'd be happy to supply you with anything you wish, Mr. Slavinsky. Well, great, great. But not until the past year rent is paid. Okay, I just need a little more time with that. Or shall we say, uh, 48 hours? After that, I'm afraid we'll have to proceed with eviction proceedings. my pancakes. Where is that little guy? Oh, so, visiting his father in Seattle. I bet Egypt couldn't make pancakes that save her life. Morning, everybody. Morning, Louie. Morning. Pancakes? No, I, uh, I gotta be on my way to work. Excuse me, huh? Giving me that evil eye. You can't keep doing this, Louie. You've got to tell Mama the truth. Is that losing her job? You can't just sneak off to work. I can't tell her. Not till I get something else. Look, maybe today's my day. I mean, I hear they're looking for something over at the bistro. Maybe me. I don't know. Hey, hi, Connie. I see you, Rocky. Goodbye, kid. I'm Bye. Sorry. What's going on here? Monty and I are making pancakes. I hope you're hungry. Uh, count me out, babe. Oh, I want coffee. Oh, how did your, uh, date go with, uh, you know who, hmm? Who called here, you know? Oh, it, it wasn't really a date. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. sure. Right, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. There really is an experience being in this house. Around guys I've met, it's practically a legend in its time. <laughs> this old house? I think it's on account of the outrageously gorgeous women here. You, your sister, Brill, even <laughs> Rocky. My, how flattering. I can't believe you're buying all this garbage. Really, Rocky? You ought to learn how to take a compliment graciously. Yeah, I bet you had a lot of important men interested in you. Well, yeah, there have been one or two. We've been married a couple. Amazing, you know? Jack wasn't even all that important back then. Now he owns the whole football. You bet a Brill did all right with the guys, too. I mean, her being a glamorous model and all. And Brill was always very shy. She barely ever went out. Well, I know this probably sounds crazy, but I won't... I keep wondering, you know, she might be carrying a torch for some guy. Maybe that's the reason why she won't marry me. Hmm, maybe it's because she'd rather marry a two-headed pig. Uh... Really, Rocky, what did you do? Get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? You got any idea who she was dating, you know, when she got pregnant? Well, as a matter of fact... Ava! What? Yeah. Telephone. Hello? 
Yes, Rocky, I know. I can hear it. Do you mind getting it? I'm busy. Hello. Oh, Rocky, thank goodness we have to talk. Uh, what's wrong? Nothing is wrong. It's just I need to talk to you. It's very important. All right, I'll be there in a little while. Okay? No, no, no. It's got to be now. Something very unexpected has happened, okay? I'll be right there. Monty! A room needs to talk to us right away. Really, really important. Well, you go on ahead. I'll, I'll come as soon as I eat my pancakes. No, Monty, why don't you just go on ahead? Everyone else has turned me down. Why not you? Hey, I'm not going to miss your masterpiece. Besides, I could use some of your advice. Well, Rocky, go on. Monty will be along soon. Give it real, my love. again for the rescue mission, though. Apparently we were having a conversation yesterday that we didn't quite finish. Let's leave it at that. So, you look very elegant. Thank you. I uh, have an appointment later. Ah, must be important. Business. Uh, about yesterday. Look, Clay, I don't want to talk about what you want to talk about. I was drunk, which obviously made me run off at the mouth. I am very sorry that I burdened you with my deep, dark secret, but let's just forget that it ever happened, all right? Curly, it was uh, not just booze talking. You uh, wanted to tell me about your child. Shh, Clay. Mm -hmm. No one can hear. What happened to him? I stopped telling you things. Maybe it was for a purpose. Curly, why do you want to be alone all the time? I'd like to get close to you, but you have to help me out. <sighs> Come on, trust me just a little, all right? I do trust you. What happened to the child you had with Paul? Did you put it up for adoption? Um, yeah. I wanted to keep it. I, I tried. I really did. Must have been hard. You were a little more than a kid yourself. Yeah, it was unrealistic, to say the least. I was 17 years old. I was alone. I was broken. Um, so we expect the daycare center to double in some moment. Morning. Am I interrupting anything? Oh, no, it's nothing vital. I was just telling Clay about the projected daycare center in Roman at Alden Enterprises. Saving set? Yeah, in the kitchen at last count. Paul doesn't know about his child, huh? <sighs> he paid for the abortion that he thought I had. I used the money to buy the baby and me food so we can start. Pretty gutsy thing to do. Yeah, well, I never had the guts to tell Paul what I did. What do you think he would do if he knew? Does it change a man to find out that he was a child somewhere? Brill was very shy. Well, we didn't even know anything about you until, well, until after she was pregnant. Yeah, I mean, but before that, I mean, did she, like, go to the movies or something with some guy? Well, or? I mean, before that, I mean, she, uh, she had a plenty of opportunities to meet a wildly successful businessman, which was a marvel at Tempest. Like who? Monty. I'm sure she only went to lunch with a couple of them. Actually, she was impossible. I used to tell her, oh, over again, I'd say, Brio, opportunity wearing an Armonti suit will knock any minute, so don't close the door. But did she listen to me? No. I think it had something to do with being brought up in Central America. Then again, she did have a little thing for somebody who, quite frankly, I warned her against. But luckily for her, it didn't last very long. Well, who was that? Ah, uh, there you are. Oh, we call it. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. That's what I needed to start my day. Mm. I got a lot of interviews, and I need some good luck. You need luck? Me. You've got looks and charm and my buttermilk pancakes. Monty, 
Why don't you just help yourself? Put that over. Well, I uh, can't speak for anyone else, but I know it would certainly change me to find out I had a child somewhere I never knew about, especially now. Still, it must have been a rough time for you then. The rough times never stop. Oh, every single time I see a 10-year-old boy, I think about my boy. Oh, what does he look like now? What does he do? Does, does he have a, a bicycle? Or does he play little league baseball? Does he get good grades in school? Or does he have trouble? Does he have a lot of friends, or is he a loner like, like his mom? How long was he with you? Kept him for three months, 17 days, two hours. He loved to be cuddled and um, nursed and just held. <laughs> I loved giving him baths. Babies love to be do. I, you know that. And I made sure that he got plenty of fresh air. I, I got this baby carriage from the Salvation Army. What was his name? Uh, you have to be careful with babies in the sun. Their, their skin is so delicate, it's like silk. Harley, what, what was his name? Give Paul for what he did to me. And I'll never tell him the truth. Just because you fathered a child does not mean that you deserve a part in his life. We have to talk. About what, huh? Why, after so long, do I suddenly hear from Clay? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe he just wants to tell you that he's happy that Trisha's adopting your baby. The flowers are sort of a gesture. Rocky, why don't you just say it? What we both know. He's figured out that he's my baby's father. He wants to take my baby. Whoa, Abril, me. take it easy. How can I when the worst thing that I ever dreamed of is about to happen? Abril, relax, okay? Look, you gave Clay every chance to acknowledge fraternity, didn't you? Didn't you, even though you never came right out and said it? Oh, it was obvious, Rocky. Yes, right. But Clay denied it. I mean, he was screaming his head off, up and down. Remember how horrible he was the day he came to Kate's? Yeah. This is very new to me. Well, I just don't buy that he's going to do an about face and all of a sudden claim to be the father. Well, why suddenly send me flowers, Rocky? I told you. It, it was probably he's got something, something up his sleeve. I just know he does. On this? What? Oh, Rocky. What? I was so worried about him wanting to talk to me that I never noticed. Noticed what? He found the card. Love. Play. Hmm. <laughs> I can't wait till Sandy comes home. Me and us can be together. Me too. We can do, yeah. Family. I never had my very own family before. Oh, God, we're going to be so, so happy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, eat your pancakes. I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I didn't know you had such hidden talents. Well, don't get too excited. It's the only thing I cook. Well, I guess <laughs> we'll survive. Oh, I was thinking. Maybe we should get a larger suite at your hotel, or maybe we should just forget about it and get some place of our own. Just, right, well, just a, Wait, know. wait, wait, wait. Ava, I don't have a job right now. And I have no money. They took all my money. Well, so, we'll have a job soon. Maybe by the end of the day. And who knows, maybe Jack will take me back at Amarillo. It's a shame that their house, Jack and Stacy's, isn't going to do for us. <laughs> their house is too big. No, well, it's not that it's too big. It's, it's too big. It's old and it's dowdy and I hate furniture. <laughs> and it's too big. You know what I want? I want a house with, with huge windows and, and marble bathrooms and 
and a big deck for entertaining. How about something nice and small, like a nice little rose-covered cottage? Cottage? What's yeah. a cottage? Maybe we can have a cottage on the Cape someday, hmm? <laughs> mm. You do think big. Well, you are going to be big. big. <laughs> yes. You're going to be big. Not like that dowdy old insurance salesman, Paul Morrison, who met that gruesome girl at the zoo. Be nice. They're my friends. You are exciting. And you're <laughs> handsome. You're charming, and I love you. So, where's your last appointment today? To the bistro, four o'clock. Well, should I meet you there? And then we can decide which job opportunity you'll accept. And we can celebrate. Should I get you a second helping? Um, sure. Those were cold. Mm -hmm. I'll get you some hot ones. <laughs> and having those uh, <clears throat> legendary pancakes. I'm waiting for my second helping. Oh. You must be on top of the world, Paul. Everything's going your way. Congratulations. Carly. You know, I think things are really going to work out a lot better now. Now that we've shut the door in the past. You know, I wonder... I wonder if those doors can ever really be shut. Monty, you're sure a lot nicer than I thought you were. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nicer than that uh, other guy Abro was dating? Oh, so oh, him. Well, I knew they weren't meant for each other from the very beginning. I know he wasn't interested in her, although Bro was pretty dazzled. Oh, Dazzle, what was he, some kind of movie star or something? Only Corinth's most eligible bachelor. Well, maybe that's my problem, then. I caught a brill on the rebound from this swinger guy. Well, if it's any comfort, he's not interested in her. As a matter of fact, he's seeing my sister. Oh, what is she more his type? Oh, definitely. A brill was always just, I don't know, much too naive for him. He was always way out of her league. Yeah, poor kid. Oh, well, no, the thing happened for the best. As a matter of fact, I don't think she's carrying a torch for him, not that I've seen. So, if you want her, Monty, all you have to do is just go after her. Well, you uh, really think I have a chance? Well, who knows? But, take my advice. Don't let it scare you that Clay Alden has a lot of money and clout. There's absolutely nothing going on between the two of them anymore. Well, just because Clay signed the word love doesn't mean that he loves you. Maybe he means sex. Maybe he's figured out that my beautiful little boy is his son and he wants me back. Oh, bro, just stop it, okay? Why is it so bad to think that we could be a family, Rocky? I'd be able to keep my baby. If you want to keep your baby, that's one thing. But for God's sake, to delude yourself that Clay Alden is going to fall at your feet is just... It, 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 why is it impossible to think that he might have realized he loves me, huh? And he wants me and my baby. I'm, I've been thinking, you know, I, I think that it was my mistake that I should have told him the truth right from the start. You tried. He blew you off, remember? I didn't try hard enough. I was too scared and too proud. But I think if I had told him, even if he was mad, Rocky, when he saw a little boy and when he held him in his arms, Everything would be different. And then little boy would be able to be with his real mother and father. I can't believe you're saying this. But you hate Clay. I know how to forgive. Don't you see what you're doing, though? You're creating this total fantasy because you're having a hard time letting go of your son. Look, I sympathize with you. I really, really do. And if you changed your mind, well then, well then go for it. Okay? Keep your son. But you can't go on this seesaw and just string Trisha and Trucker alone. They've got a big stake in this, too. I think what you're doing to them is just... 
It's just so cruel and it's unfair. Billy becomes a preschool dropout on Who's the Boss? Then it's Mickey's first birthday and his dad drops by for some cake on Baby Talk. Coming up, Adam is trapped into romance by Arlene's scheming. Stay tuned for All My Children next.